Hello everyone, my name is Arch Trooper and welcome back to a, another video to show you guys how to port forward your BeamMP server in order to make it joinable to everyone outside of your network. So that's your friends or random people, anyone will be able to join it, not just you. To do this, we're going to be doing something called port forwarding, which you do through the firewall of your PC and your Wi-Fi network settings. So by this, it's probably not the safest thing to do if you guys are planning on having a massive BeamMP server with a bunch of random people joining, because basically they can have access to your IP address and they can see where you live. So if you guys don't want to do that, you guys can check out my website, hcnetwork.1, down in the description below. Come to this page right here, and you guys can get this boy right here, the HC Network Gameflex Windows VPS, and it basically gives you a virtual Windows PC for $21 a month, which is roughly £17, and you will get a virtual Windows PC where you can run it all off with your own IP address, which doesn't lead to your house, and you can literally run any other server on it as well at the same time, or you can use it for storage, it's really up to you. This is a great way to do it if you guys don't want to use your own IP address. Otherwise, you can do it for free by going to the search bar on your PC, search for Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security and open that on up. And then we're going to find our Beam MP server, open it on up, open our server config, and inside of here, you guys will see, it's going to give us our port, which in the name, port forwarding, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to copy this port right here, 30814, and we can close our server config on down. We won't need that for now, and come back to our Windows Defender firewall with advanced security. It will be the exact same way of doing it if you had a HG network VPS as well, because they're literally a virtual Windows PC. We're going to go to inbound rules. New rule, port, next, TCP, paste in that port we just copied, next, allow the connection, allow all of these, and we're going to call it whatever you want, BeamMP will do, and then we are done. New rule, port, next, this time we're going to select UDP, we're going to do the exact same port, next, allow the connection, next again, and again call it BeamMP. The names don't have to match. It really doesn't matter if you do a typo like I've just done here. It will still work the exact same way. And now the next thing we're going to do is go to outbound rules, new rule, port, next, TCP again, paste in the port. And by default in your outbound connections, it's going to block the connection. So you need to make sure you click allow. Next, next. And again, we're going to name it. It's pretty much rinse and repeat from here. So you guys guessed it. We're going to do UDP now. So port, next. UDP, paste in the port, next, allow the connection, all of these ticked, and name it. And just like that, we are done. These, This is the only thing you guys would need to do if you had a HG Network Windows VPS, because we will automatically then port forward it from our side, from our Wi-Fi router settings that we provide you. But if you guys are doing this on your own PC, then you will need to do the exact same steps we've just done here on your Wi-Fi router settings. If you skip this, it's not going to work. So it's really simple to find this. It all depends on your Wi-Fi provider, so it's not the exact same. It's not really something I can show you exactly, but usually if you Google my, if you Google my Wi-Fi settings or something like that, or if you know your provider, then just search your Wi-Fi provider, and then it will give you your, here you go, I got BT, so we're going to go on to access your router with BT Hub Manager, and it will give you your IP address right here, and then you can simply copy your IP address and put it into your URL bar and it will open up the hub for your Wi-Fi router and then you'll need to log in with admin and follow the exact same steps. But other than that, I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Be sure to comment down below what video you guys want to see next. I'm going to try and keep up to date with the BeamMP servers. I know a lot of you guys were requesting this video and it sort of went to the back of my mind, so I do apologize for that. Other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.